All right, we're here at the going live here as Coach Tuli already been up with the kids and giving them some expectations and what they want them to work on. No, we're on. Let me go ahead and read my.
<coughs> all right guys thank you for for coming to the other guys sports show page here on youtube we got coach desmond battle our athletic director hey good morning guys good morning coach um, thank you for allowing us to be part of this today. thank you guys for uh, bringing yeah. them along and thanks to our administration thanks to everybody who helped put this thing That's together right. That's right. if you don't guys know it takes a village That's um, right. especially as many kids as we have here in athletics so today uh as a lot of people don't know maybe uh we got uh logan tillman uh a former wolverine uh, a player uh, collegiate and some nfl experience as well and we have met him about six years ago at the uh, fantasy football uh, and um we've been keeping in touch throughout the years and and uh, we finally made it happen to him. He was able to come down and, and do an offensive line for camp. And, man, I'm excited, Coach. Yeah, no, uh, that's one of the major uh, positions on football that gets overlooked. Yes. Um, and as if you would have saw last year, we had some lapses in our offensive line. So addressing it right now here in the same year in spring, getting ready, it feels like football already. Oh, um, I, want, I want to go get the helmets out and put the helmets on. <laughs> that, that's so, exciting, man. Trust the process, but I, I, I appreciate you guys for helping out, uh, getting Logan here. Um, it's going to be beneficial. Uh, and hopefully it's the beginning of many more if, the, uh, if, if possible. Right? Yeah, yeah. There's I know. contacts out there and hopefully, you know, bring in some, some more stuff like this. Uh, but, uh, yeah, um, it, it kind of piggyback on what you were saying. Also, as a former running back, uh, I really didn't appreciate too much of my linemen until Bobby. Bobby used to block <laughs> linemen. And, he, I mean, there's more to it than just blocking a man in front of you. There's, there's the, actually, I yeah. thought process. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I was, and I'm, I'm the opposite. Cause, uh, growing up, my favorite player was Emmitt Smith. Oh yeah, and I remember Emmitt Smith buying Rolex as far as offensive line. Yes, one Makes year. Sense and now. as a kid, I said, well, I gotta respect my offensive line. So yeah, and I couldn't buy him Rolex, but I remember buying a few. <laughs> Gatorades and a few extra cookies at the snack bar. <laughs> six, six piece tenders. <laughs> I did have a few six piece. I had a <laughs> and, and that's why, like Tom Brady and all them, they treat their linemen excellent. Well, and, and that's the way to go. I mean, at the end of the day, it all starts with the offensive line and, and in protection, driving, all those aspects of uh, the game yes, starts to just. Matchup starts at the offensive line, so that's that's one of the things that you know we weren't looking at just helping the offense of our coach with the line. But I hope he's instrumental in the coaching department. I know I've I've heard Coach Ramirez, Coach Rivero, and I don't know who else you're gonna be helping on the offensive line aspect on, the, on our athletes. But man, I think that you know they're gonna help each other a lot. They sound you know the coaches are are bright young guys. Yeah, yeah. So whatever they can pick up the lingo. And like everybody goes through, right? You have to hear from somebody else kind of deal. <laughs> you know how I'm pretty sure he's going to be discussing things that your coaching staff has been saying for the last two years. It's, ago, it's funny how that works. I had a few phone calls with a few parents. Hey, you mind just repeating this? Clean up your room to my son. Because if I tell him to clean up, he don't like hearing it from me. Right. So, yeah, Shane, you know what? Hey, clean up your room. Oh, that's a great idea. I haven't heard that before. <laughs> I had a daughter playing softball, and it's like, um, I tell her about her stands where she's bat uh, batting and stuff like that. And it's like, no, well, Dad, no, I feel comfortable. I took her a batting coach uh, one time, and, and, and he completely <laughs> fixed her batting. Yeah, <laughs> and like the same, and same. It, and after after the the little practice, or whatever, I go, I ain't saying nothing. And she goes, no, don't say nothing. <laughs> yeah, and you get that opposite as no. well. as well, you get those. But at the end of the day, Getting these kids exposed to somebody who actually had a 49er helmet on, and, 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 and they'll be able to, you know, you know, they, there's no way they can't say, you know, it's like Bobby looking at me when I give him basketball drills, like, come on, dad. You ain't made it to yeah. the league. You're not, you know, but I would be like, no, but I read a lot of books, and this is what they talk about. So at the end of the day, this is what I hope we bring into the, to the kids, and your coaching staff and yeah no it I, I agree this is uh, this is a great start for us i know we can put on a lot more I know other sports do bring in other camps uh, they, uh, they go to uh, camps oh, you can well. take it to so looking to bring in a, a pitcher for some for their team to come uh -huh. out during days and i think this is all great for the community to get oh, yeah. people from the outside because san antonio i know only an hour and a half close to two hours but it's still a drive 
I prefer us waking out of our own beds, right. coming to our own facility and getting that cat here. Instead of having to drive that two hours or four hours, wherever it needs to be. And which that's, I'm all for that too as well. But if we can get more camps here on campus here in Crystal City, I think that's only beneficial for our kids. Because yes. at the end of the day, I'm I'm not getting it. The kids are getting it. Right. And they're going to be the ones that's using this. Um, what we got from the most, I know me and like you said, Coach Ovello, Coach Ramirez, we talked to Logan inside prior, mm-hmm. kind of just picking his brain and kind of just asking a few yeah, questions. Yeah. The X's and O's inside of it and stuff like that. Just kind of see where we're at if we're on the right path. Correct. If we're saying the same things that they're probably saying at that collegiate and right. level. And for the most part, blocking's blocking. Right. But it's verbiage um, and it's, it's language. Um, and it's a little technical stuff that at times we don't, we miss or we don't know. Mm-hmm. So picking his brain this morning was pretty great. Um, we got here some good insight. Forward. And that's great, Coach. Uh, uh, Logan is really into you know helping out, especially the youth and stuff like that. He does camps actually. He, as soon as he's done here, he's got to take off. He has another camp tomorrow as well. And that's one thing that you know he, he just like I said, I'm blessed. I'm doing what I, I love to do and, and teaching the youth and everything like that. So uh, you know it's a great thing, you know, especially the kids that want to learn. And just looking at the turnout, I mean, you got kids from not only junior high, high school, and everything, but you know, and for them to wake up on spring break too, <laughs> I mean, that, that's a great, you know, great aspect of what they're showing. That they're yeah, and, and it, sh- it shows that they want to be here, and it shows that they want to learn. We got about thirty kids here, mm-hmm. and and that's what I wanted. You know, a lot of times when you choose to to come, it, it shows commitment. You know, mm-hmm. so that's the first step, right? Yeah. So. And sometimes uh, the first step is the hardest step. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is. I, mean, I agree with that. So, nah, man. And, and I'm enjoying watching. So I'm, I'm like trying to, I'm listening to you guys and I'm enjoying the way he's getting our players, our athletes in there. So. Yeah. But uh, no, no, I mean, that's great. Um, I actually saw some kids, and not only that, the junior high. I mean, that's where you start developing, you know, <clears throat> such a young age when they're coming up. And um, yeah, and, and I agree. If you ask any, any coach, uh, they'll tell you the importance of you. Youth football, um, youth anything, youth basketball, um, youth sports is a foundation for any athlete. Right. Um, and it's not just the one sport athletes as well as multiple sports because my thing on multiple sports playing them is because you're learning a different drill, you're learning different technique, you're learning different verbiage, but also you're learning the sport. Hey, you can't, you can yell and scream in a basketball game, in a football game, but you go out and play golf. At the it's, it's, uh, it's amazing. Courtesy, it's courtesy. It's things like that in sportsmanship and different sports. And if you learn, you play multiple sports. You learn right. that throughout the day. Oh yeah. Uh, and, and, and it's a, and it improves your IQ, right? Every game, you know, every sport has its own IQ, and that's why it's good to to watch every sport and, and pick up the nuances of, of the game. You know, what, what separates you from. Just a standard athlete, right? Yes, sir. So, so I, I enjoy that. <clears throat> I'm excited. Um, C- Coach Logan said he was going to join us. That's why we went up in the air. So ho- but he, he, he looks like he's already fired up yeah. talking to those kids yeah, already, he's, man. He's already working. Um, can't get in the way of that. Yeah, and, and we're not going to broadcast any of that. But hopefully. Actually, uh, yeah, he said he was going to go ahead and record it number two. And only that, he gave the kids uh, uh, some type of uh, link or something like that. Yeah. And they can go back and reference on all the, the techniques and, and, and the drills that they're going to be doing. And they can always go and reference that. So that is something yeah, great. Yeah, also, yeah. that's great that they can always go back. But I like what he said in the beginning. It's about starting right now and giving yourself, a, you know, like you said, he's not going to make you stronger in 90 minutes. He's not going to give you, but he's going to give you a foundation of what to do to get better. So, and he said, every day, oh no, he said four to five times a week for 15 to 20 minutes, you got to work on this, on each drill, 15 to 20 minutes in each drill. And it starts today. And I know that stems back from the amount of reps it takes to become a professional athlete. Oh. Um, and, I want to say it's over 50 to 100,000 just doing the same exact thing over and over to get to that professional status. Um, Isn't that crazy? Because the day you're resting, somebody else is getting better. Yes, sir. That's, that's yeah, what that's, they always tell me. Yeah, somebody, there's, yeah. there's a competitor The day you take a rest and you don't want to go, somebody else is getting better. Better than you. So, yeah, I mean, I think that's the great mentality they're just trying to implement. Get us one, man. Kids that, you know, everybody has the potential to be great. 
but yeah, it's, it's just depends on uh, how much you want to put into it and how much effort you want to put into it. becoming great. And, 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 and everybody has that. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't have the potential of height. <laughs> I, played, I played my sport, which is cross country, and hey, we went all the way to state. You know, everybody has their. their there are pros and cons. Yeah, there's there's a for sure a height requirement that not too many people know about for yeah. certain sports. Yeah. Um, and I know for sure basketball's one of them. <laughs> right. I tried basketball, coach. I had a lot of speed, but no, no height. <laughs> Did you play basketball? You played basketball. I, I enjoyed basketball. But um, Coach, Coach Castillo told me I needed to lose weight. Oh. And Coach Guzman told me you need to gain, gain weight. weight. <laughs> <laughs> Coach Guzman sounded like the smarter guy. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so, it's, it's, so, so it's, Golden Chick is the, the road I chose. That's uh, that's a, a good safe road, a safe route for sure. I, yeah. I chose in my few uh, Goldens and DKs. <laughs> nah, 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 but I know Coach meant that you know weightlifting. But at the end of the day, you know, I, I, football was my love. You know, basketball is just was fun. Nice. You know, so. Man, I, I'm sorry. I'm just looking at the drills. Just, it's amazing how how the perspective of somebody else teaching it to you is how, mm-hmm. how these kids uh, kind of like like okay, I'm gonna learn here. Yeah, it's it's been great. I know uh, Coach Ramirez, Coach Lerother, kind of been starting the drills a couple weeks ago just because he didn't want them kids to be prepared to come out. Oh, here. so he kind of gave you yeah, heads he, up. he gave them yeah, some drills. I thought it was a marketing kids started working on prior to my arrival, um, just so they won't be a fish out of water. Right. That, 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 that's that's uh, some good insight for them. So I'm hoping they'll look a little bit better. Well, they look great right now. Yeah. I'm enjoying it, man. They're, they're doing... Like, I can see this is like a quickness drill right now. You know, impact. It's in the... So let me ask you, do you want to go record this? No, live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no I, I think we, we should be recording. I think he's, I know he's recording now. Hey, get it afterwards, Jay. Just go afterwards. And uh, spring break. <laughs> yeah, it's it's tough. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It's it's tough for a kid on a Saturday that's been working, that's getting up at six thirty or mm-hmm. here at six thirty, lifting six thirty Monday through Thursday for the past. So y'all been lifting? Six, right? Yeah, we lift, we lift in the mornings every morning six thirty to seven fifteen. Oh, great job on the uh, on the weightlifting team as well. Yeah. Like everybody was just dominating. On yeah, that. I know we had 27 girls make it to regionals. Um, Coach Lonzo does a great job. Oh, she's she's awesome. And I want to say they had nine uh, go to state from that 27. So congratulations to those nine girls and the coach and to all the little managers and rappers and everything it takes to, uh, right? to make that team uh, go to state. The team behind the team. Yes, sir. And I know the boys, uh, they took about 12 to regionals. Um, I know we had uh, two go to state. We had uh, Raul Manalado make it to state. Nice. And, and then we had a uh, prime, uh, Israel Moncada. He had the set the regional record for a uh, bench. Yes, I saw, four, that. So I saw that. Yeah, so 465 pounds. 465 pounds. That's more than double his weight or triple his weight. Yeah, I would say double. Just that be modest. That's, that's, <laughs> that's prime over there. He's our big right guard. So I'm not gonna say uh, triple his weight. Yeah. It was. I'll agree with double. Yeah. I agree with double. <coughs> that for sure. No, he would be an awesome pulling guard. That speed and that strength. Yeah, and that's Ooh. what we talked to Prime about. And Prime's one of those guys that mm-hmm. says, yes, sir, and he works at home. Um, he's been doing these drills at home. So I feel pretty bad for me not able to compete today just because he rolled his ankle. Yeah. Um, so, but he's here taking mental notes, man, and I like that. Um, it's not could have been able to stay in bed and say, you know what, coach, I'm hurt. I don't, why am I going to go just to watch? Yeah. And that's kind of athletes and that's kind of kids what we were trying to build around here. Hey, just because you're hurt, that doesn't mean I'm out. No, that, 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 that means you got room to grow in another area, either take, right. take it mentally or find other ways to keep growing. And, and that's something that I, I always feel that mentally you always have to be mentally prepared. You know, there's a lot of raw talent, but at the end of the day, you gotta know why you're doing things. You know, that'll make you, it'll separate you from the normal athlete. So, um, I'm enjoying all this, guys. If you have a kid, I, I think we have an hour left, right? So in the athletes, I don't know if you guys can roam around, but <clears throat> Coach Tootie's doing, or Logan is doing that great stuff over there right now. So 
Want to wrap it up, Dave? Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm mesmerized over there. Like I said, I've... I've that back foot. I have to apologize. Other than Lyman you know, being in front of me, you know, blocking, and the work that it goes to, you know, it looks like you know, just being a big boy and... and yeah, you, know, you got to be skilled. You got to be smart. <laughs> I think that's what one of the Bobby's strong sets yeah. offensive line. Uh, he was, he was strong. Who, this guy? Yeah. I, I, I enjoyed a lot of, I feel like, since I wasn't the strongest, I, I felt like I had to, I call it cheating, but it was like, brains work sometimes better than, you know, so. I, Knowledge is power. <laughs> so, technique and, and skill was my, my deal. I, I learned how to grab correctly and, you know, hold and. Who did you block for? Who was your uh, We had uh, Henry Flores. Oh, okay. Yeah. John Henry. I promised him I was gonna make him a, a thousand yard rusher. And he got it. So nice. Nice. Yeah, it's so follow fifty five, Papa, you'll be alright. <laughs> but fifty five is everywhere, huh? Fifty five is just <laughs> So no, I enjoyed it man. <clears throat> I, I enjoyed those days. But you played both ways though. Yes, coach they they had me on the defensive I played defensive end, tackle and nose guard on both sides. I enjoyed Coach Body back in the day where we had our defensive end specialist, but there was times that he just wanted somebody to be laid out. It's like, Bobby, get in there and just lay this guy out. <laughs> you, you need those enforcers. <laughs> and you, I'm like, you do need some enforcers. So he's like, I don't care. He hands off the ball. You're, you're hitting him. <laughs> so I was like, all right. I like that. Missions. That's good. All right, well, let's wrap it up right here. And uh, thanks again to Coach Battle. Thank you. And, and thank uh, you guys for we'll, sure. We'll thanks, be back, everybody. Uh, with uh, hopefully with Logan here and uh, wrap it up at the end. And like I said, uh, he is recording the actual camp here and he's going to share with the kids uh, yeah. all the drills and stuff like that so they can always reference back to that. And I'm sure he's going to reference with you guys. And share yeah, yeah. We've uh, we've made contact. Uh, the coach has got his number if they have any questions. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, cool. They're going to reach out to him. Good deal. Um, we're just, coach is standing here watching. Same thing. Just kind of pick up as much as we can. That's right. And we're just thankful, man. Thankful for you guys. Thankful for uh, administration. Administration for everybody yeah. allowing everything. Yeah. Well, and, and getting everything going. And we'll let the community know. I think we're, we're going to start planning a chicken plate sale. Nice. So, so we can have more fundraiser abilities to to provide more for, for our athletes and for the other guys' sports show. That's right. So and for, and hopefully be able to get um, more uh, camps like this as well. Yeah, uh, I, know, I think I heard somebody mention I want a kicker. I want a kicker. Coach. Yes. Kicking. You get your 10 you best buddy? kickers and bring them out. <laughs> yeah, you'll be surprised. I got some kids kicking in sixth and seventh grade. Ooh. Saying as soon as I get to uh, high school, freshman year, coach, I'm your I'm your hey, varsity. You can get, oh, you can get, that, hey, that's that's something you can inspiring. Get scholarships as a kicker too. Yeah, but yes. don't know yeah. that. Yeah, you can. You and as a, as and as a deep snapper as well. There yes. you go. There you go. All right, guys. Well, let's wrap it up. Uh, thanks for joining the other guys. For sure, we'll be back soon with hopefully with Logan after he finishes with this, and we'll get a wrap up on this. All right. All right. Thanks Thank a lot. you, guys. Mm -hmm. Crystal City, stand up. R.I.P. to d -Lo. Told you I was going to bring the heat, champion. Shout out to Rob Camps for this fire. Yeah. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Forever yeah. all hog nation. No stand up, stand up, stand up. Yeah. Forever all hog nation. Get your hands up, hands up, hands up. Yeah. Forever all hog nation. No stand up, stand up, stand up. Yeah. This forever all hog nation. This forever all hog nation. Yeah, all right, beat to the